Welcome back. Got another unboxing and review video today. Just got these in right here. Two of the Atlas Trinity 3230 pressure covered hoppers. Been waiting a long, long time for these. Um, really excited to get them on the layout um, for some cement service. Um, yeah, I bought uh, one of the TILX and one of the NAHX cars. Um, the list price on these is pretty high at uh, 60 bucks. Um, I pre-ordered mine for 48, so you know, pretty pretty good savings per car. I don't think I would have ordered them if they were 60 a piece. Um, yeah, let's get them out of the box and see what they look like. All right, so here's the TILX car. Let's get it out of the box here. Packaging, warranty card, it's upside down, that's it. Got a plastic wrap on here, a couple pieces of foam. Another couple pieces of foam. Here's the car. Nothing broken. Let's take a quick look here. Get the other one out. Make sure they're both good. quick look at this one. Just make sure it all looks good here. Alright, I'll clean this stuff up and then we'll get to looking at the cars. Alright, so here's the NAHX car. Um, I did notice when moving stuff around that these grab irons are just in there. So be very careful with those because they'll pop out. But the detail looks looks pretty good on this. All the lettering you can read. I'll get some closer pictures of it. Uh, the trucks have the car number on them. The bearing caps do not spin on these. I don't know why. For $60 you would think they would. has all the brake piping and detail on the ends. Show the other end here that really just doesn't have much. Then you got all the pressure pressure piping and everything underneath. One thing that I found was kind of odd also, if you're going through all this work, and you put number fives on here. Not a big deal for me, but I would have thought they would have put, I suppose, just for conformity or whatever, but seems kind of crazy. So we'll take a look at the TILX car. Everything's straight. This one has the blue caps on it. They don't spin either. But yeah, that still has the car number on the trucks. And the same, same detail and everything. Alright, we'll compare these to some pictures I found. 
see how they how they compare to those. We'll do a little zoom in on some of the details here. The lettering and all that stuff. You can see how it's all legible and everything. The other one up here too. You see how that's all legible on that side as well. See how they did a good job on all the lettering. So here's a couple pictures I found. This is the one of the TLX car. You can see the numbers are stamped in here. It has the blue caps. Uh, the paint does seem a little, a little different. My lighting isn't that great right here, but yeah, not good at all. Here's a little shining on there. You can see how it's kind of more brown than gray. But it has the silver walkway. But it looks also like the Hatches on the top are silver, and they're not on this car. They're still the brown, like the the body. But overall, everything else matches up the lettering and the stripes and all that stuff. And here we'll go to uh, an AHX car. You can see that's pretty great too. If you look at this one, it's you know. Kind of brown, just like the other one. But other than that, everything seems to match up. You know, just like, just like it should. Um, I have some pictures somewhere of them in Alaska, and they look a little more brown as well. I'll see if I can pull a couple of them up quick. All right, so here's one of the pictures I have with one of the TI Lux cars in the Anchorage yard. I'll zoom in here a little bit. And it still looks gray. You know, it's not as brown as the car. But it looks, you know, a little weather on it. It uh, looks a little darker. So hopefully, hopefully when I weather these, they'll look a little closer than what they do. But yeah, kind of disappointing. Uh, for a $60 car that the paint is that brown. Um, yeah, let's uh, weigh these cars and finish this up. All right, so we'll throw the cars on here and see what they weigh. So 4.1 ounces and they should weigh four, so they feel just fine. They, they do feel, they do feel pretty, pretty heavy. I thought they'd weigh more than that. There, and that one weighs Weighs 4.1 as well, so they both both weigh what they should. So for a $60 car, I guess it does have some flaws, and is the paint, you know, worth not spending the $60 on it? I don't know. I need them. I'm gonna use them. I'll weather them. Put better couplers on them, and they they should be just fine. The details are fine. The lettering is fine. All that stuff is good. Um, yeah, I, I think, I think they're a pretty solid car. I would have liked to see them a little cheaper, but the way some of these cars are going now, they're all, they're all getting crazy. Uh, hope this review helps. Thanks for watching.